Now, KCAU 9 Sports. Welcome back. In the midst of the Explorer seven game win streak, Michael Lang broke the all time hits record. It's an amazing accomplishment for the right fielder, but it was far from an easy journey to Sioux City for the New Jersey native. Number six. The Sioux City right fielder most recently became the Explorer's all-time hits leader. It's, it's an honor to, to be able to be at the top of a list of great players in this organization. That accomplishment didn't come easy. Prior to Sioux City, Lang started at Rutgers University, earning 2011 Big East All-Conference second team honors and ranking in the top 10 in six offensive categories. But it still wasn't enough. You know, I honestly thought I was going to get drafted my, my junior year and then my senior year, and that didn't happen. <clears throat> so we kind of didn't know what to do. Then Michael's father figured out a solution. We made a resume, sent it out to every team in the country, and there wasn't a single team that responded to me. And I was getting discouraged. And then the following season, which I didn't even know that there was even another chance of me playing. Um, he decided to take it upon himself to send out my resume again through the mail. That was just the first step, but Lang definitely made a lasting impression. I remember it vividly. I was in my Dakota Dunes office where I office in the winter time and uh, got the mail that day and you know got a letter. And typically, I'll be honest with you, I, I get you know three, four, five letters a, a day. You know, hey, I can hit the ball far and I can you know pitch the ball fast. And uh, I get a lot of those letters. But that day, I actually uh, opened up the envelope and started looking through it. Literally, out of every single, like, I'm talking, he had stacks of envelopes. The only person that responded was she. Uh, said, hey, I think this is a guy that, let's give him a chance in spring training. We're not out nothing. In fact, uh, I think the deal I had with him that first year was, you know, you're on your own getting here, um, typically. And if you make the club, then we'll reimburse you to get here. Iowa was foreign land to the New Jersey native, though. I remember looking out the window. I was like, what the heck is this? Like, there's no houses. Like. It's just land, 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 more land. And then we get to the house, and I was like, where are your neighbors? And they're like, oh, they're about a mile down the road. I was like, oh, my goodness. It wasn't for sure if Lang would be calling Sioux City home until the season got underway. I honestly thought that I was already on the team. And uh, like three days into the season, they released one more guy. And then my parents were kind of like, Whew. like, we knew that they had to release one more. But I didn't know that you knew, didn't know that. Finally, Lang locked down his roster spot, and it didn't take long for people to notice, especially visiting managers. I remember sitting in that opposing dugout, and I remember him getting a base hit to right field. And just how hard he ran, our right fielder really wasn't expecting too much, and he was thinking about going to second base. I was like, man, this guy can run a little bit. But Michael's wheels weren't the only thing moving. Lang's contract got bought out by the Arizona Diamondbacks that season. Story goes, I come here and then he's released my first year's manager and, 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 and Shane said, I have a good relationship with Michael. Let me give him a call. And uh, he gave him a call and he said, Michael's expecting your call and we worked out a deal. Five seasons later and numerous franchise records broken, Lang's leaving his stamp on and off the field. He's become a part of our community, whether it's in the school systems, um, helping out any way he can off the field with different kids' clinics, different things he's done, and he's always made that a priority as well for us. As fast as he is, and we all know how fast he is, he's a better person than how fast he is. He does things the right way off the field. He never turns down an autograph. He always helping out in the community when, when there's a community, something for us to do in the communities. One of the first guys to sign up. Michael knows the type of legacy he wants to leave in Sioux City. I want somebody to watch me play and know that I gave everything I had every single night for the team. And I think that means more than getting the most hits for a team because you know, that's, that's just a number you can see on paper, but when you physically see what guys do on the field, it's, it means a lot more. He's going to go down as probably one of the uh, greatest explorers ever, uh, if not the best one. If he plays six more seasons and racks up an additional 530 hits, there's no argument against that.